there's so many different parts of model railroading. Model railroading is, is really a very diversified hobby if you stop and think about it. Uh, for example, you have to have something for it to run on. So therefore, you've got to build a table of some sort. That's carpentry. Uh, you get that set up, then you're going to have to have some kind of a design schedule in mind now what you're going to run on this table that you've built. Uh, is it going to go around in a circle? Is it going to go up and down? Is it going to be back and forth? What is it? What's it going to do? And then once you get trains running, there's a whole total different aspect of model railroading, and that is actually creating scenes or landscaping. And then that creates even a, a better part of model railroading because you can then see these trains running through that landscaping, which, which makes it even better to watch the trains go around. Instead of just going around in a circle, now you're actually going someplace and going through some type of a landscaping, mountains, tunnels, rivers, and so forth. What, what drives me into this hobby is I grew up along the New Haven Railroad I, and just the, the, the wonderment of a train going by, the, the feel of it, the sound of it. Uh, watching it go by um, and being able to recreate that and, and in the case of, of my layout the New Haven Railroad went bankrupt and was absorbed into the Penn Central in 1969 so it doesn't exist anymore so what I've got here is I've recreated uh, a part of American history uh, this area that we're, that we're part of the area that we're in down here and that you'll see the most of uh, was originally an open air porch that, that my dad and I closed in uh, in the early 60s. Then when we took over the house, uh, we, we changed that around, made some modifications and created the space for the railroad. When we first started out, uh, I had a track plan that was basically out of my head. I didn't do any, uh, I didn't spend any time on a computer drawing anything out. I had a few sketches. I had a space that I had created. Uh, and uh, I had a reasonably good idea of how I wanted to fill it with the general track. I've been, I've been working on this one since 1986. Uh, when I first retired from the Air Force, uh, we started doing plans then to build the room. I, I had put the addition onto the house, which is the addition's 1,300 square feet. Uh, used up pretty much all of our backyard. Uh, I built everything myself, so it's been a labor of love since 1986. The major construction started in 1999, and it took me a year to build the room, and we've been about five years on the railroad now. Building a layout is, is a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of challenges as well, too. You have to be an electrician. You have to be a, a, a artist in, in a certain regard as far as building the scenery goes. As I've grown into the hobby more and more, um, I find what I really like doing, I, I like operating the model railroad as if it was a real railroad. And I have designed operating plans to, to, to fit that need based on the, the prototype that I model. It became uh, obvious that people who had not been to a model railroad before could be brought down into this area uh, and made to believe that this was the model railroad that they had come to see. Uh, we decided to have a little fun with that, knowing that there's a great deal more uh, to it than this. But playing on that aspect, we would come down and they'd look around here and they would have, uh, inevitably see a track that sort of disappears down a cut, goes through a tunnel, and want to know where that goes. Well, to facilitate the, the fun, uh, we created a little sliding freight door uh, that leads to the main room and when people would ask uh, uh, what, where that track went, well, they'd say, well, I was sort of casual, they'd say, well, there's just a little bit more railroad uh, out, out here in this other room and then slide the door back and bring people out into the main room. Our railroad is called the Great Northwestern and Pacific Railway. Uh, that's, the reason for the name is it's not modeling any specific railroad uh, in and of itself, but it encompasses the names of a lot of the rail railroads in the West, and that kind of allows me the freedom to have pretty much any kind of motive power that I want. The name of the railroad is the South Texas and Gulf Model Railroad. And the reason the name, most all railroads, their, their names depict what area they're in. I'm modeling South Texas and Gulf, which is South Texas and the Gulf of Mexico. In my artistic vision of it. Nothing is as it seems in real life. There's, this is no reality to this. It's all what's in my head. Different aspects of what I've picked up since I was a little kid. Things you remember, little tidbits here and there, is what this railroad is. 
the, a model railroad is never done. There's always something else that needs to get done to it. Uh, adding detail just to, to bring more things onto the layout, scenery-wise, model-wise, that you find out there in the real world. Like I say, some of these guys that, that just carve out a space, lay some track down, uh, put up cardboard boxes for industries and stuff like that, they're basically done. Uh, but those that, that get in and try to create scenes and things like that, then there's always, always things to do and always areas to uh, uh, either modify, uh, you know, change or, or complete. Some of the older sections of the layout that are that are that have been scenic for a while, I've been looking at those lately, and I'm I'm ready to tear that stuff up and put down it all over again. And that's that's another thing that we do in the hobby is as we move along, some of the other are, we get better in what we're doing, and so we look at some of the earlier work that we did, and then we say, nah, it's not as good as it could be. So we tear that up and we start over again. Not the track in many cases, but the scenery. What I want them to go away uh, from this layout, from a layout visit here, is 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 the knowledge that you do not have to have one this big to be effective. Uh, if you've got something like this, this is what it takes to fill it up. Uh, but but you can do this same kind of work, have the same kind of structures and, and everything in a, in a much smaller area, and, and be very very effective with it and everything. So because uh, I think there there are many people that that can come to this layout and go away just totally intimidated. Oh man, I'll never be able to do that. I mean, I don't ever. I'm, I'm never going to have a space that big. Blah blah blah, you know. And and I don't want to ever ever have anybody. I don't want to hear anybody leaving here saying that, <laughs> you know. Uh, so that's that's one of the main thrusts. Other than and you know, the first thing is to come here, have a good time, enjoy yourself, go on a journey. Uh, but when you leave, leave with the knowledge that uh, uh, you can you can have the same thing uh, in a much smaller space and still have a lot of fun with it.